so 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 hello lovelies welcome back to the channel so today's diy is going to be fall inspired we're going to use some items from the dollar tree and create some beautiful fall charger plates if you have already subscribed to the channel then thank you so very much and if you have not what are you waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell and make sure that it is turned on to all all right my lovely people let's go ahead and get started with this diy so the first thing we want to do is make a little uh, mod podge concoction so we want to take our little tray and this is optional you could use a little plastic bowl or a little paper plate but you want to take your little tray and you want to pour some Mod Podge inside of that tray. Okay, and I poured a little too much, so don't be a little messy like me. I'm just gonna slide it right on over to the other little tray hole, just like that. So then you're gonna take your glitter and you're going to pour it in the Mod Podge, okay? I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes I think my lighting is too bright. So you're gonna pour that in there because we want to make um, our little Mod Podge concoction. So it should look like this. See if I can get, see? It should look like that, and we're going to stir that up. So you want to stir it up. So once the Mod Podge dries, for those who have not worked with Mod Podge, it does dry clear and shiny if you get the... Um, gloss one and that is what i'm using they do have the option of matte but i have the gloss i did want it to be glossy so that's a personal preference so once you have it mixed up you're just going to take some and lightly stroke it along your charger plate just like so And you don't want to put it on too thick, but you do want to make sure that you are getting it on there. And you will see that glitter come through some. And it will really shine, really nice and sparkly once it's dry. I also forgot to tell you guys to make sure that you have um, these napkins. Now, this is optional, but I think it is a big piece for the DIY that I am making. And to add the fall look is a pack of these napkins here. These napkins, these are at the Dollar Tree. They have all different kinds, but this is the one that I was looking for for the pumpkin, okay? And we're going to take that napkin. I've already taken one, and we're going to cut it out. We're going to cut that pumpkin out, okay? So, we're going to do that. Just like so. I just like to cut off the excess so it's easier to work with. And you're just going to trim it like you would do anything that you was cutting out. So you just want to follow the lines of the pumpkin and cut it out. And be very careful. This is tissue. It's very thin. The only good thing about it is that that pack comes with plenty of napkins and it's about four to five pumpkins on one napkin. So you, for four charges, you really only need one napkin, honestly. But um, that one individual napkin, but you have to buy the pack. But if you were giving these away as gifts, which I think would make wonderful gifts, you can really get a lot out of that one pack. So then you wanna take that pumpkin and you want to see him right down in the center. Just like that. And be careful. You want to spread from the middle of the pumpkin. Just dab it out very lightly. Because it's tissue and it tears very easily, you guys. So be super careful. Okay, and you just want to tap it. You'll have some little air bubbles sometimes, and you just want to tap that 
kind of like give it a little tap, press them out. And it's also add to the character, uh, the look of the pumpkin. You have the little wrinkles, kind of vintage, vintage, vintage looking. So now that you have that on there, you're gonna take lightly. You're gonna take your glue concoction or your Mod Podge concoction, and you're gonna lightly. Go over that pumpkin, dab it, so that it can get some of that glitter on that pumpkin and make it bling. Give it a little shimmer, actually. It's gonna give it a shimmer once it dries. And be careful, like I say, this is wetness and tissue. It dries easily, so be careful when you're dragging your paintbrush down on this pumpkin as well because it will tear now let's say that you was a little heavy-handed and you tore the um pumpkin image um if you're if it wasn't that bad you're able to probably push it back together and then dab it with my podge to seal the hole but if it's really bad then you probably want to scrape it off and start over with another piece of pumpkin on top of the um product before it dries. It's easy to do it when it's wet opposed to when it, it dries. Because once it dry, it may be harder to uh, get it up. Okay. And you want to get that stem too. Don't forget the stem. We need him to shine as well. Okay. All right. So then you want to just go ahead and continue bringing that Mod Podge on the rest of your um, charger all the way out to the edges. So you want to just go all the way up to the top, over those little dots, bring it on down, all the way around. All right, and I'm just going to finish the rest of this right off the camera, and I will be right back when it dries. All right, so now that it's dry, we're going to add our leaves now this is the fun part you guys you choose whatever pattern you want to choose but i'm going to do a pattern um that's going to um start with the shiny leaf as my main leaf and i'm going to put it right here at the top glue it right there with hot glue to the very rim like that okay so we will start with a little glue here on the back you don't need much and press it right down like that and then we will take the green and do the same and kind of overlap it just a little see how I'm overlapping it just a little bit and then we will follow up with an orange leaf, okay? Um, and they have in this pack different type of orange leaves, but we want to use these orange leaves, okay? So we're gonna follow up. Be careful because these do, they're so thin that they have more than one leaf sometimes connected to it. So we're gonna put a little glue there and we're gonna overlap it. So your pattern should look like that. Okay, that's how your pattern should look, just like that. So we're gonna finish that right now. So you're going to take that pattern and you're going to continue all the way around, all right? And I come back when I'm halfway okay, done. So I finished all the way around. So now we want to add our bling. So um, basically what I'm going to do is take some rhinestones and I'm just going to start putting it down along the um, outer rim. You're going to glue them down. So you put a little dot of glue on the area that you want glue 
after you get the rest of this done, we're going to take small pieces of the um, gems, the small gems that we can find, and we're going to place a gem on the um, orange leaves, okay? Again, optional. All right, lovelies, here is my Pure One Inspired Fall Charger Plate. It's so glam, it's so unique. I absolutely love the way the gold shimmers from the glitter, the rusted look of the pumpkin from the crinkling, the splash of bling from the rhinestones, and oh my gosh, the lovely rich colors of fall from the leaves against this gold charger plate from the Dollar Tree. You guys, overall, this charger plate cost me literally under five dollars because i already had rhinestones in my home like oh my gosh it is just so so fabulous i absolutely love it and i may be overthinking it or over hyping it up but to me y'all these things are so beautiful the video is not even giving it its justice but i hope that you guys do like the way that they turned out and if you do then give me a thumbs up and sound off in the comment section below letting me know that you do like this DIY and if you're going to recreate it and you're a YouTuber, please give me a shout out on your page and if you're a family member, send it to my Instagram. You can find it. My Instagram is the underscore Hannah Watkins. You can send a picture there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.